Okay, so we're going to take a look at an app called Futaba Classroom Games for Kids. And uh, you can see from the home screen up here, you've got a bunch of options. If we go into settings, we can turn off the background music for now. Um, but game times can be one, three or five minutes. Background music on or off allows second attempts in player mode, one player mode. And you can set a pin to lock it, follow them on Facebook and so on and all that sort of good stuff. And I'll explain that as we go through. So basically what it is, is a game that you can play with one to four players in a classroom or home. And you can create any topic or category you like. So you get the question in the middle of the screen and you get the answers down the bottom from uh, one of four answers. So three times eight, 18, six, 24, 48, ran out of time. Uh, one plus nine is 10. Now, I'm just showing you a demo here very quickly, but if you imagine this with two or three or four different players, um, it can become quite fun, quite competitive, um, but a good way to have the kids interact in the classroom. So let's pause that and go back out to the main menu. And what you'll see is you can have multiplayer. Now, the idea is to go into manage games. Now, you'll see on here, you can create sort of a playlist of different types of subjects. So you could have any of these, any subject you want. You can create any subject. You can import any picture. You can ask any questions. So you could, you could create a topic about learning colors. You could create uh, which one is the odd one out. Um, countries, as you can see here, you've got flags, you could do different types of cars or animals or vegetables, you name it, you can create a game to make that happen. So if we go and look at all sets, this is what the app comes with, all of this. And um, you can sort it out by grade, by level, by subject, uh, and more. So um, for example, if we go into grade and we click on third grade, You'll see all of the ones it comes with with third grade. So basic numbers, countries and flags, fruits and veg, musical instruments, and sight words. Um, and when you click on one of them, like musical instruments, you'll see that all the pictures are down the side here. And all of the words that go with the picture um, accompany it. Um, and you can turn these off or on, depending on which ones you would like to um, practice. And how you would use that is you'd go home and you would um, manage games and you create a new game. And let's say we want to call this music. And we'll save that. And then we would go into the grade. We'd choose third grade and turn first grade off. And you'll see we've got musical instruments. And we'll turn that one on and we'll go back out. And what you'll see when we click on this, we go to the home screen and go on. Let's make sure we've got them all turned off. Let's turn this one off. But when we go on the home screen and we go on multiplayer, now you've got up to four people that can join the game. So let's just join two for this and let's give it a shot. Now remember the topic is music, grade three. So you get a picture in the middle, you get 60 seconds. We've turned the music off, but there's usually music in the background, but you've got 60 seconds to start. Now you've got four, four answers on the bottom and four answers there as well for the other people. And you choose the appropriate one. This one actually speaks. You get an option to speak. As the picture comes on the page, you can say, uh, you know, what is round, for example, if you wanted to, or you can speak when you get the correct answer. So if you listen. Trombone you'll hear that they said trombone. So you can see the time is counting down and you can see you've got three dots here. So the idea is you're playing this game with another person. The first one to win three games is gonna be the winner of the entire thing. Chimes. Now, if you happen to tie, as we will try our best to do here and make it Piano. a two-two thing, you can see the time is running down to five seconds. Now, if nobody gets this and it remains at two-two, you'll see that it ends up a tie. And what happens is the next answer wins the game. So you get the picture and then you get to pick xylophone. xylophone. So they win the game and then you go on to round two and you continue. So let's go back out and show you some more of this. Now, another very cool thing about this is that if you click on backups up here, you can create, 
you can back up your own work, but you can also sync whatever you create to Dropbox. So you can now share this with students and people around the world and different classrooms. And I mean, the possibilities are absolutely endless. It's really, it really is fantastic. Um, now let's say we wanted to create a set. All you do is you click add set, we'll call it color. Um, we'll select a grade, preschool, level easy, subject, um, we'll just say um, science for now. And then you can add a description here if you want to. Uh, we'll save that. And as we click on color, you get to image base or word base. We'll do image, we'll go camera roll. And how you do it is you click on your picture, it adds it here, you click next. And then the correct answer is what you're going to type in here. So the answer is red is the correct answer. And you click on here and you can add blue and green and pink. And you, can add, you can add whatever you like. And you can see how versatile this could be. And you can add one question, well the minimum is four, but you can add four questions, 10, 50, 100 questions on this entire thing. So like I said, it's absolutely incredible. Um, and the, the possibilities are endless. Now once you've done that, you simply save it and you would continue. Now I said you need a minimum of four, so we're not going to continue to do that for time purposes, but basically I did the same thing in picks. So you've got blue, green, red and yellow. I created that. And if we go back out to the home screen, we manage games, um, we can turn this one off and PIX is exactly what I was just showing you how I created it. And let's go back out. Multiplayer. Two people. And here we go. So this is what we created. And you get the color in the middle. And you get to pick the correct answer. If you listen, red, you can actually say the color on it appearing and then you continue to go through like that. Green. So you can see the uh, the possibilities are absolutely endless. It is um, it's a fascinating game and, and to think you can create um, uh, as many sets you just simply reset this to get all of them back up from first grade all the way through whatever grade you want to go through synonyms, antonyms, verbs, nouns colors, vehicles, fruit, I mean, you name it. And, and it basically it makes it all, all a lot of fun uh, for the kids to learn. So there is uh, a question mark that you can click on if, you, if you're stuck. There's also, if you go back out to the home screen and you click on the question mark, it'll guide you through how to play the game, which I've just kind of showed you here. Um, also, they have an iBook you can download for free and it'll give you a guide on the game. But Classroom Edition of Futaba, um, highly recommended. It is, it is really, really good. So please check it out.